We are here in Granville, where Christian Dior made really his first steps in this garden and in this house. Uh, the parents of Christian Dior bought uh, this property in 1905, precisely the year when Christian Dior was born, and they made a, uh, they designed uh, some part of the garden and they settled a few months later in this garden. Uh, Christian Dior really loved this period of, this, of his childhood in this garden, in this house, where he said that he would feel really protected thanks to the high walls uh, around, surrounding the garden. Uh, the, the gardener of this garden was probably Madeleine Dior, Christian Dior's mother. She was very keen on gardening. You have to imagine that the Dior had to make come a lot of garden soil to make grow the vegetation and the trees we can see now, uh, because uh, you cannot, you couldn't make grow anything because we're on a rock. And uh, thanks to the, this garden soil, they could make grow all these trees and this vegetation. And Madeleine Dior was helped uh, precisely by the young Christian Dior, uh, probably one of these bo the boys of the family uh, who was interested by gardening uh, with his mother. He said that uh, he didn't um, read uh, novels, but he was much more interested by catalogues of uh, the famous company uh, Villemorin Andrieux, and he could spend hours uh, to read this famous uh, catalogue, Villemorin Andrieux. Christian Dior was deeply impressed and influenced by this garden and this house. And as a creator, as a couturier, he was also deeply influenced. For example, in his first collection, in the new look, the famous new look, one of the main lines was named Corolle, referring directly to the flower. Uh, he was also impressed uh, and influenced, let's say, uh, by the roses of the garden. One of the main colors uh, of Christian George in couture is uh, the pink color, and the pink color is, of course, uh, one of the colors of the roses and the roses of the garden of Granville. This part of the garden, precisely the terrace where we are, is very important. It's a very important place in the garden. Uh, it's an, a place where we are one the, of the most beautiful view here with uh, the island of Jersey. Uh, Christian Dior was deeply impressed uh, by this place and he was a contemplative boy and he probably could spend uh, hours looking at this landscape uh, and uh, Christian Dior compared this, uh, this uh, climate to his life that was not calm at all, uh, like the weather he could have when he was a child in Granville. We are now in the, a part of the garden that is uh, much more protected from the wind than it was uh, on the terrace uh, just before. And it's also an important place because uh, Christian Dior designed uh, also uh, this pond uh, in a very peaceful, uh, that give a, a very peaceful um, atmosphere in this garden. And we can uh, see another uh, bank designed by Christian Dior in this part of the garden. We were in this garden, the steps of Christian Dior, uh, in this house, in this garden that he deeply loved, uh, but he didn't come back in Granville after the 1930s. Uh, the Dior had to sell the house after the 1929 crisis, and Christian Dior probably wanted to keep the idea of a, the lost paradise of his childhood. Nowadays, uh, the house has been transformed in a museum dedicated to his creations and the creations of his followers in the Dior Company.